But it's Lou Gehrig Day around Major League Baseball as baseball honors the legacy of Lou Gehrig and fights for ALS. Six foot nine, Bailey Ober. Yeah, last time we saw Bailey Ober, this was in Cleveland, and he was outstanding throwing the fastball at the top of the zone 82% of the time. Ahead one, two, and here it comes. Off speed, weak ground ball, speared by Ober off the mound. First base side, he lobs to first to retire Quan for out number one. Swing and a miss. There's the high fastball you alluded to earlier, the first strikeout for over. That's going to play all day long for him, and as long as he has that change up to complement him and slow down, that's at 91, but that plays up to higher. And as a team, the Guardians don't strike out much. Here's a long fly ball to left from Ramirez all the way back. It is caught. Willie Castro bounces off the left field wall to haul in that long drive off the bat of Ramirez. Now, welcomed addition to the Guardians starting rotation. Aaron Savali's off the I.O. Nice to see him back, especially over the oblique strain. The 1-0 pitch swung on. He chops it to third. Backhand stopped by Freeman. Long throw in time for the out. Two up, two down. That brings up Alex Kirilov playing first base tonight. Hammers one to right down the line. That's a fair ball into the corner. Kirilov around first base. He will dig to Triple. second. Kirilov will hold as the throw comes back in. So for a moment, thinking that perhaps we had a triple. Still a two-out double from Kirilov, Danny, and he remains scorching hot. Line drive to right, a base hit for Max Kepler. Being held at third is Kirilov as the right fielder Brennan gets it in quickly. So three straight have reached for Minnesota with two outs, and the bases are loaded for Ryan Jeffers. Here's the one two. Breaking ball called strike three on the outside corner. There's the curve from Savali, and he locks up Jeffries for a huge strikeout. Ground ball right side in the hole. Flag knocked down by Polanco from his knee. Recovers, throws in time to get him. So Polanco went to his left, did not glove it cleanly the first time, knocked it down, hung in there, and then found it with a knee on the grass. Here's Cam Gallagher. Gallagher, number nine hitter, doing the catching again tonight. Runner is going, and the catcher, Jeffers, could not get the ball out of his hand. They do appeal the swing at first, and Gallagher struck out. But Will Brennan steals second base. Stretch and the pitch, a swing to fly ball, right field in the ballpark for Kepler. Shy of the warning track to his left, he's got it. Bailey Ober is yet to give up a hit through the first three innings against the Guardians. No score, top half of the fourth inning. Now Josh Naylor popped to third, first time up. Naylor with a liner to right, oh. bending down and dropping the ball is Kepler. We saw Kepler lunge forward on a fly ball earlier off the bat of Miles Straw. He caught that one, but on this line drive as he bent down, they're going to give Naylor a base hit. That's the first hit for Cleveland in this game. How could that be a hit? Count of one ball and one strike. Ground ball, routine third base, fielded by Lewis. Comes up right over the top, retires Jimenez, hustling down the line. One runner left, and not sure hit or an error. It's an error for me. And now here's Willie Castro. Castro struck out. He is one for 18 against Savali. Castro with a one hopper handled and then knocked down by Rocchio. They get the out at second base. Retiring Jeffers on the force out. Rocchio stayed with it, made sure to get one. And now two down in the inning with runners on the corners. I like Rocchio. I think that's the type of play where all of a sudden you feel rushed and the ball gets to the outfield and has a chance to score a run, but he knocks it down, understands how much time he has. Kyle Farmer at a base hit his first time. Here comes the pitch from Savali. Swung on, line to third, caught by Freeman, the third baseman. And Savali works out of it again. Clutch pitching tonight from the right-hander. We'll head to the fifth. Here comes the one-two pitch. Swung on, slap toward third, backhand pick up Lewis. Jump throw to first, not in time. Safe at first base is Brennan, but what a play by Lewis. So Royce Lewis, he idolized Derek Jeter. That was the guy that he idolized growing up, and that was a Jeter-esque play. But Royce doing so at third base, that glove to the backhand side, that spinning jump throw, which Jeter mastered. Here's the 2-2. Swung on, line drive, base hit left center. Cut off in the gap by Castro. Big turn at second by Brennan, but he'll hang on right there on the single off the bat of Miles Straw. But now there's two down. Now Stephen Kwan coming up. And here's the pitch. A little flare behind third, shallow. Here comes Castro. He'll get there and make the running catch. Here is Jose Ramirez with a man aboard. 
Hard hit ground ball to second. Polanco has it. Gets it to second base. One over the first two. A double play. Polanco. That all started with Polanco's turn. That was filthy. The speed, the precision. Polanco knew who was running on the base pass, knew that Ramirez was hustling down the line. David Fry, the new catcher. Here's a line drive from Ryan Jeffers, a base hit down the line. Extra bases, and the Twins start the bottom of the seventh with the go-ahead run in scoring position, a double for Jeffers. Farmer and Jeffers have really showed me a lot, especially in the situations that they get a chance to play. They both seem to be able to cover the fastball inner half, really, really lightning quick hands to be able to keep that baseball fair. As Polanco with a chance to deliver here. So it's a matchup here that I think favors Polanco. High fly ball to right off the bat of Polanco. That ball's off the wall. Farmer scores. Taylor gets to third and stops the heart and soul of the Twins. Jorge Polanco, an RBI double. It's 1 0 Minnesota. Polanco not wasting any time. He recognized that fastball out of, out of his hand. And Twins have the lead, 1 0, and they're turning it over to their closer. Joan Duran is in the game with one out in the eighth. 3 2 count, eighth inning. And the payoff pitch. He struck him out swinging. It's in the dirt, played by Jeffers, throws him out at first, and there are two down. That was a splitter. He threw 3 2. Ramirez went after it. Swing and a miss. Jawan Duran goes to 104. He blows it by Andres Jimenez. And the Guardians squander a leadoff double in the top of the eighth. The flame throwing Duran. Ninth inning. And Durant will try and end this one tonight. Ground ball to third, handled by Lewis. Throws it across the Minnesota Twins. And another one run game against the Guardians. Score a 1 0 victory. Jawan Duran just too fast and too furious in the eighth and ninth inning. He holds a one run lead to finish it.